What up, YouTube? Uh, my first video in a while. Sorry, I've been busy. Um, today, I kind of wanted to go over uh, the waiver wire situation for this week. Basically talking about the big running backs uh, that could be picked up because there's a lot of injuries this week. Um, and this is a real good week to be high on your waiver wire. So I'm going to talk to you about which... Uh, basically... We're going to go over Ronnie Hillman, Brandon Oliver, uh, Andre Williams, and Cunningham from St. Louis. So um, I'm going to tell you about who you want first out of those guys, why um, the guys that got injured, uh, whatever, just things like that. So basically we saw uh, Donald Brown leave the game in San Diego with a concussion, Brandon Oliver stepped in and put up 150 plus total yards, a couple touchdowns. He looked like a stud. Uh, Antonio Gates said that Oliver is basically Darren Sproles with more power. So he could run between the tackles. Um, so he, if I had to choose one out of the four, would be the number one guy off the waiver wire for me. Because uh, clearly if you watch the game, he's a stud. Um, he was undrafted because probably because he went to Buffalo. Uh, they don't like those small school guys. You know how that works. Um, but he had a great preseason for them, and now he finally got his opportunity, and he uh, did really well. So he's legit. He's a good player. Um, even if Donald Brown plays this week, uh, he's Oliver's still going to see the bulk of carries. Basically, uh, Brown's been shit since Matthews and Woodhead went down. He's averaging like two two to three yards of carry. Uh, it's really just terrible production. So Brandon Oliver stepped in, did really good, and now uh, he's looking to take over the feature back position for at least this week against the terrible uh, Raiders. So he's your number one guy you want to pick up off the wire. Uh, Woodhead out for the year. Like I said, he'll play over Donald Brown regardless. And um, Ryan Matthews will be back in a couple weeks. So that's the only thing kind of hindering him. But even when Matthews returns, Oliver should step into the Woodhead role. If not see more carries than Woodhead would. Um, sorry about that play on words. What else? What else? We got... Uh, I would say the next guy I would take would be definitely Andre Williams. Um, Rashad Jennings went down. He hurt his knee. Um, they don't know when he's going to be back, but they're saying it. He definitely gone for this week, probably next week as well and then they have a week eight bye so he'll return after that week most likely so andre williams is going to take over the feature back spot in new york for the next two weeks uh at philly and at dallas two division games usually high scoring not always but usually um andre williams looked awesome when he came in he's downhill runner he was fucking people up i mean he was lowering his head and just running through people uh so he's going to get all the goal line work he's going to get all the between the tackle running he's He's gonna see he's gonna see a lot a lot of action in these uh, in these in these next couple games. So he's the next guy you want. He's gonna serve as as an RB two if not an RB one for you as the next uh, two weeks go by. So he's you got Brandon Oliver one, Andre Williams two. Uh, next we're gonna go Ronnie Hillman. Uh, Monte Ball left the game. He was hurt, and he's supposed to miss a decent amount of time. I I think they said let me see, let me check real quick. Ronald, where you at, bruh? Okay. I don't know. I can't find it. But I'm pretty sure Monte Ball is supposed to miss at least two, three, uh, if not more than that, four weeks, something like that. So most likely Ronnie Hillman will take over the lead back role. He came in after Monte Ball left, put up 15. He had 15 touches, 15 carries, uh, a little over 60 yards. So he's not... He's not the typical uh, feature back with a lot of power, but he's going to see the touches in that offense. Um, he can't do much worse than Monte Ball's been doing thus far. So uh, Tillman sees the touches, and he can show a little bit more explosiveness than Monte Ball. He should put up good numbers for you too, RB2 numbers, uh, with potential for RB1. Um, they, ha <coughs> they have C.J. Anderson, who was inactive for last game, and Juwan Thompson, who will mix in. I'm sure it'll be a little bit of a running back by committee, but if Ronnie Hillman, I mean, gets the hot hand, they're not going to sit him, you know? 
So he uh, so he has potential to put up big numbers for you as well. So we got Oliver, Andre Williams, Hillman. Um, last one is Benny Cunningham. Zach Stacy left the game uh, last week, and Benny Cunningham came in. Uh, he rushed seven times for 47 yards and also got in the end zone. Uh, nice. Nice touchdown run. Uh, he also caught three balls for, I think, 24 yards. So, Zach Stacey went down with a calf injury, but it's not supposed to be that serious. He might even suit up this week, which is why I'm saying Benny Cunningham is the last guy, because all the other guys are definitely going to be taking over the feature back position for at least this next week. Uh, if Stacy plays, then Cunningham will just get a share of the work. Can't expect him to get the, the, the most work in St. Louis. If Stacy uh, if Stacy doesn't play, Cunningham will be the feature back there, and he'll be a good he'll be a good uh, he'll be a good runner. But they're going against the 49ers as well, a stiff run defense on Monday night. So also Monday night that gives Stacy an extra day to rest. More likely he'll play. But um, but yeah, San Francisco is a, a tough defense, especially compared to the uh, opponents of the other three running backs. So uh, Cunningham will step in there. He's a he's a good runner, uh, but Zach Stacy will get his workload back as soon as uh, as soon as he's healthy. But Cunningham's also a good stash because Zach Stacy's he's kind of injury prone, I guess. So um, it's not crazy to think that Stacy comes back and pushes it a little too hard, re-injures the calf. That's something that could uh, could keep going, you know, whatever. Um, so those are the four guys, basically the big four running back pickups for the week. Uh, in this order, Oliver, Andre Williams, Ronnie Hillman, and then Benny Cunningham. So if you're high up on the waiver, I, I would suggest just putting all of them on the waiver uh, waiver pickups because you'll most likely get one of them as long as you're not the last waiver in your league or whatever. So, um, yeah, well, go out there, pick those fuckers up, and uh, win your Week 6 matchup. Big dogs got to eat. Hoo-hoo!